Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of East Coast, West Coast Video Reactions. I am your host, Sharita Dilly. And I'm Pavel. And I'm Pamela. Mella, choose to. <laughs> All right, and today we're going to be watching a video about a bratty teen. Take it away, right. Pedal. And we're let's just say, if I did one-tenth of these, I would not be alive today talking about it. <laughs> the first time you went like that to me, I ignored it. And you jabbed me again. I didn't jab and I could you. see where it was going and what I said to you, and this was a word of warning. I jabbed I, you. I did not jab you. I you was, jabbed me. I was petrified. And what I said to you is physical acts of aggression get taken very seriously on an airplane. I if you she... begin to get aggressive, they will put handcuffs on you. I was you. getting your attention. I did this. I was tapping your arm with my elbow. I had and you went like that. I had told you on more than one occasion that I wasn't putting the volume down. Well, you know what? I kept asking because it was driving me crazy. So then you decided to do this. And after the second one, I gave you one back as a way to say, stop it. So and you said, yes, no? Exactly. No, yeah, you got my attention, but I'm not a dog. So why don't you heed my suggestions of stop it when I ask politely? Because you're not the complete boss of me. I control my body. I can do what I do, and you don't have the right to hit me. That you're not the complete. He said, you're not the boss of me. No, 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 no. He said, you're not the complete boss of me. Boss of me. You're the boss of a little part of me, not the whole of Yeah, me. not the whole part. Oh my God. This is like. I lightly tapped your arm with my elbow. Please stop. Let me talk. <laughs> I tapped your arm with my elbow to get your attention. Pam, right in my arm. It actually left a mark for about 20. Okay. I guess. Oh, <laughs> Oh, he said, you shut up. <laughs> Just wait a minute. Girl. Shut up, watch you hear me talking to you. I would not have gotten a sound out. I would be in my grave. <laughs> I would be in my grave. So how about this conversation would never take place? How about this conversation would not even exist for you to <laughs> even author, you know, to wait, say anything. Wait, just slap me, because I, I can't, I, I don't even want to start talking till we see the, the, the... All right, let's go back. Well, All right, let's go back. Airplane. 20 minutes. But 20 minutes later, it was finally okay, fading. Okay, up, you said, you're not the boss of me. I am the boss of you. When a mother says to be quiet, she's the boss of you, and you need to listen to that. Bottom I line, never said... when a teacher says something, she's the boss of you, and you Shut need to listen. Shut up! Give me a turn to speak! Fine, see? You do that to me. How does it feel? How does it feel to be told to shut up? We've talked about it. Let me speak. How does that feel? Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> did, he hit, hit, did he hit her right then? Oh, God. Oh, okay, y'all. Every time I see this, it just, I, I just, I get jolted. I just like. Oh, Tell you this thing I saw that this thing stood me right up. I was just like, if this I is... could not, I'm telling you, when you have a when you were raised in the Caribbean with a black grandmother, yeah, you even have the thought of it. Not you're you're not even starting to speak. <laughs> just the thought of this, you would be in your grave. <laughs> oh. The history of you would be wiped out from the world. There would be no sign of you. It's like you never existed. <laughs> Once called my aunt, and in African culture, you can't call people witches. I called my aunt a witch because <laughs> I take it so seriously. Because it's like people like will just you know disassociate with you just because they think you're a witch. I'm like, come on. But mm -hmm. she followed me around our neighborhood, like literally, like I was running and she was just walking the whole time. I just like a witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, okay, you call me a witch. You <laughs> call me a witch. <laughs> I'm just going to oh, call you my gosh. hours and hours. Every house <laughs> we went through, she was telling people she called me a witch. So that's why I'm chasing her. Man, I got a whooping <laughs> later on that day. I, I would never forget. So oh this, my is, goodness. this is I'm not telling even you, happening. you, I would not be able to sit for weeks if I ever 
even have the thought of pulling something like this. Honestly, but there are a couple of things there, with this kid. Don't, like, don't be doofing this kid right there and then. It was like, yeah. you said, what? <laughs> That, then, that's, you know, you know that said, there are advocating violence, there, though, but parent, seriously. Yeah, there are a couple of things there, though, as a parent that you want to pay attention to. In spite, he, he's a bratty kid. That's, yeah. you no, know, that's what I'm saying. He's manipulated. You don't put your hands he's on very your smart. I don't care what it is. He's very smart. He knows what he's exactly. doing. Exactly. You don't put your hands on your parents. I, that's just a no no. It, does, it doesn't matter what it is. You don't do something. You don't be screaming and yelling at your parents. This is a no. Yeah. Just because we're black doesn't mean we do it right, right? Okay. No, of course. It doesn't mean we necessarily do it right because we do a lot of shut up, sit down, I said it, da 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 da. We definitely do. Another thing to piggyback on what you just said, this young man, um, from my experience in working in the school system, he seems to be um, possibly on the spectrum. And so, he, which means he might have some form of autism. Like you can just kind of kind of sense that he might be a little you know they don't necessarily think the same they don't process things the same and and then a lot of times they they think about things in a very literal sense and the, and what he's saying is making a lot of sense he's like you're doing to me what you don't want done back to you and that's right. not me right. and unfortunately we were raised in a totally different society where it was done to us and we just take it right it's, exactly it's just called being black in america or and oh and you're from africa and you're from the islands so it's just called being black period i think <laughs> yeah he even said something like when i say shut up is the only way to get your attention yeah and she and probably does that too she probably says shut up a lot she probably slaps get him his attention back. yeah those things to him a lot and so so he's literally I repeating what, what she does people. to him and he's repeating exactly that to her yeah and it's just it's a sad situation and you see it so often but again it's like you know with that it's like we have to be so careful that yeah. you know one that you, you know it's like instilling that discipline instilling but also too with that discipline it's kind of like 10 percent discipline but 90 percent love that they know that you know that they don't associate discipline with oh my gosh mommy doesn't love me they associate discipline with, no, I love you. That's why I'm doing this. I, that's why I'm setting those boundaries. That's why I'm telling you no now that you understand later that the world is not gonna give you everything. They're not gonna like you in that moment. They, I'm sure they'll stump off and be upset. Yeah. But they well, on that note, we gotta wrap it up because we've gone past our I look at a time, but should you have something to say to wrap it up? Yeah, I gotta throw this in there. I think I think a big piece of it is that kids just don't fear the Lord like they used to, and I'll close out on that. <laughs> well, Until amen. next time. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah. Do this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>